a moment, my lady. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. It's odd that he would just leave without a word. You said he was upset about the orb. That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? <laughs> You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Empress Selene owes you her life and her throne. A thousand problems remain. And your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. As the saying goes, to the victor go the spoils. They see more than victory. Previously, you were an upstart. Nothing more than a leader of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Am I imagining it? Or do we have a moment to breathe? <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. Conclave? Haven? It seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. The pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. Our soldiers put their trust in you, Cullen. I appreciate everything you've done. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. All this pomp and ceremony? Can't top seeing that bastard Corypheus burn. No matter what happens to me now, I can say I was there. I helped you bring him down. It took all of us, but we did it. I shudder to think where we'd be without you leading us. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? Someone has to fix things. Might as well be me. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole fins on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. You helped make it possible, Bull. That's what they pay me for. <laughs> the Ben Hasrath are pleased. Their agents are checking for remnants of the cult into winter. I expect they'll call me back for a more detailed report. Not many experts on demons and old magisters under the cube. The Inquisition owes you a great deal. Hey, you paid me a great deal. And we're not done yet. Corypheus was a busy guy. I figure we've still got some cleanup work to do. But not tonight. Tonight, we get shit-faced one last time. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anand. So many people died. More still are hurting. They need help. It seems wrong to celebrate. But... I want to. 
The part of me that's me needs to, after all this. The servants are drinking. Some of them are drinking while lying down. Do you have any interest in joining them? I don't know. Not now. It makes things more complicated, and I'm not ready. Someday. Maybe. What happens next? Where do we go? It will be interesting to see what comes next. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Ugh, oh, I should never have hired the new caterer so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not. It's late. The invitation to our guests barely went out at all. And... And... <sighs> it was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, Commoners to kings? Us. Thedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. I was passing through the hall this morning, and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. That's what happens when you're a hero. Is that so? Must be why it's so unfamiliar. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. Will you be returning to Devinter now? No, actually. I was thinking of sticking around for a while. You will? Devinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. Oh. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I love tiny cakes, and there are so many! Which should I try first? I would avoid the dark ones topped with gold dust. Deep mushroom and anise. An awful combination, but it's quite popular in Val Royale. I believe they call it the exquisite misery. Ole! Why did we save her again? To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. So we should be. Defeating Corypheus was no simple task. He was so confident of his power, he could not conceive of losing. If he could, he would never have challenged me. And he would have gone into hiding. Yes, it worked out far better this way. I have news from the sequester. I believe the Chantry intends to name me Divine very soon. It would not have been possible without your support and friendship. It means a great deal to me. I hope we'll remain friends once you're divine. That would please me greatly. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand, the chosen of Andraste, proven in the eyes of all Thedas. And you are my friend. How did that happen, I wonder? I'm pleased it did. You are a great woman, and I will always stand at your side. So 
much to do, my dear. Elections for Grand Enchanter must be held, and many of the circles lack even interim First Enchanters. It will take time, and it may not be possible to restore the history that was lost, but we will reinstate the circles. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. I'm too preoccupied contemplating what comes next. It's always wise to plan ahead, my dear, but you mustn't worry yourself into an early grave. Go mingle. The night is still young. Saving the world. Shane, it couldn't be for everyone. Corinthus sack hurt. But I suppose. I suppose that would be everyone. Piss. Imagine the line for drinks. Anyway, shake every hand, Lady Herald of Andraste. You're why they're here. Andraste's whatever couldn't have done any of this without you. Well, I could have, but it wouldn't have been half as fun. Fun? You're a loony. My loony. Hurry up with the others. I'll show you something else you can't do without me. Me! You can't do me without me? Just hurry up! Where is my good friend Varik Tetras? Nein, ich habe ihn nicht übersehen, oder? Hey, you. Told you I wasn't done with you. Think you can sneak away? We're going upstairs, everybody. We'll be a while. Might need some warm up. Not much. Buckles? Still you, yeah? I mean, they still say things about you. All that Herald stuff. But this feels really good. Like it always could. I just need you to stay you. You ground me, Sarah. As long as you're here, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Pretty, yeah? We well, did that. Let's push the bed off the balcony. <laughs> Tis said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, the elven resistance pacified, but it is said Gaspar yet plots his return from exile. How long before the Empress missteps, and he raises banners once more? This fear hounds her every move. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows,
to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Stroud is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within? Or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Cassandra as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she immediately enacts reform, a new Templar Order, and a new Circle of Magi. The Seekers of Truth are rededicated to their purpose of protecting the innocent. A proclamation of support for the Inquisition is issued, recognizing its service to all of Thedas. Despite her popularity, the new Divine's reforms are seen by some as going too far. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. In the end, they refuse Cassandra's invitation to rejoin the Circle of Magi and instead reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. From the beginning, the College and the Circle have clashed, and some fear it will lead to a new war of the mages upon themselves. And what of the Inquisition itself? It has eyes and ears in every hall. No secrets are beyond its reach. And that knowledge has become the source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, she has become a target. They linger in the shadows waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. <laughs> <laughs>